I'm Paul Malko, one of the creators and designers of Union City Alliance, a deck and board building game for two to four players or solo play. And today, I'm here to talk to you about Captain Jupiter, the champion of the stars. Captain Jupiter is one of the greatest cosmic heroes known to Union City. Avi's mother was exposed to experimentations in gravity while she was in the womb. And so when she was born, she had gravity warping powers. Her mother moved to Union City and started raising this unique child. By the time she was a teen, Avi had decided to use her powers for good and became Gravity Girl, honing her skills and making a name for herself. As her power and reputation grew, she became a fixture in the superhuman community, going on adventures in deepest space with the original Silver Age Captain Jupiter. She was there when he died and he passed his mantle on to her as well as the cosmic gauntlets that are synonymous with that title. Now she carries on the legacy of the Champion of the Stars. By reversing gravity, she can propel people through the air, or she can increase their mass to boost allies and thwart foes with awesome effect. She also wields the cosmic gauntlets, energy-blasting bracers that allow her to fly through deepest space. Captain Jupiter is experienced, focused, fun-loving, and Zorf. Does she have a lot of power? When you choose to play as Captain Jupiter, you're going to have an array of cards that focus on her gravitational abilities, allowing you to manipulate cards on the board unlike any other hero. Even in her origin deck, Captain Jupiter has Graviton Manipulation. This two-speed card has an activate that allows you to move a Union or City card on your panel to a panel in range two. This is even more powerful as a team-up card, Graviton Mastery a three cost power card with two speed or two valor and the same activate effect. There's no cost to this activate. It's simply a free thing she can do every time she manipulates gravitons. But city and union cards aren't the only things she can move with her gravity warping powers. She also has the uncanny ability to move enemies like with Newtonian Flux. This three cost solo card is two valor and two speed. It's a power card and its activate says Exert issue number heroism to move an enemy on your panel to another panel in range two. While there is a cost to Newtonian flux that is not associated with graviton manipulation, it is a much more potent effect because moving an enemy two panels away usually means that you'll be outside of their threat range, keeping you safe from their assaults. When you team up with Captain Jupiter, her most powerful team up card, Champion of the Stars, a seven cost four might, power and skill card has the same activate. Captain Jupiter can even move all these kinds of cards at once using realignment, a two cost, two valor power card that is a feat. With the activate, destroy this card to select up to one villain card, two city cards, and three union cards. You can't choose iconic cards. Move the chosen cards to panels of your choice. This ability to rearrange the board so dramatically is one of a kind to Captain Jupiter. And using this strategy is effective in a number of ways. For example, putting cards onto panels with bonus achieve effects, or clearing off more powerful panels like the City Hall to allow for their effects to be used without having to invest the valor to buy off all the cards. But gravity manipulation is only one part of Captain Jupiter's cache of powers. Her main role is as a brawler. Her character card ability, Increased Inertia, is an activate saying, if you defeat an enemy this turn, gain one heroism. This means every time she takes down an enemy, she's powering herself up for more and more of her solo cards, or the resources to use cards like Newtonian Flux. To keep her alive and in the fight, Captain Jupiter has lots of ways to use gravity to her advantage. For example, Invert Gravity is the most potent defensive card in the entire game. Invert Gravity is a two cost power card. It is a legacy in play gambit range zero, meaning it can defend anyone on her panel that says, dismiss this card to gain 10 defense. Even against big poly T-Rex, artillery strikes, basalt backhands, or ram raids from the street pirates, inverting gravity will block all that damage. A truly incredible defensive card. Another way gravity aids her in staying in the fight is inertial suppression. This four cost power 
Legacy says reduce the fight of all enemies on your panel by one. This legacy not only protects her, but anybody on her panel by reducing the fight of the enemies there. Way to the World is another of her solo legacies. This two-cost skill card increases both the printed resources on her origin card, Jovian Might. But the real trick of her sleeve is when an event is played, you may destroy this card to trash that event instead of playing it. So, when a truly insidious villain card comes along and you cannot deal with it, it's easy for Way to the World to get you out of that situation. But these defensive abilities are only one half of her super strategy. The other part is taking down foes left and right with cards like Summon Singularity. This five cost, four might power card gives you even more might when you exert heroism with its activate. This means that even when you have a host of solo cards making it too expensive to train for more, you can convert that resource you're getting into more fighting power when you need it. Beyond that, Crushing Momentum is a two cost, three might, one speed power card with an activate that gives you even more might as long as you use it on a panel other than when you started your turn on. This gives you the speed to move and extra might when you do. And while not focused on teamwork the way that, say, Lady Sunbeam is, Captain Jupiter does have ways of working with her teammates that make her an incredibly helpful character. For example, Escape Velocity. This two-cost power card has an empower to allow you to discard this card to have another hero move to a panel within range two of their current panel. If they move this way, draw two cards. The ability to reposition allies in order to get them out of harm's way or to move them to an advantageous panel before their turn is awesome. But the extra draw will make Captain Jupiter one of the most popular characters on the board for that game. Playing Captain Jupiter gives you versatile capabilities board control, second to none, and a fighting prowess that'll knock any bad guys out of this world. Be sure to check Captain Jupiter out and play her right now in our free tabletop simulator demo on Steam. You can also learn more about her on our website and on our Kickstarter, which you should go to now and be sure to support before it ends. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of our videos on YouTube. And as always, we'll see you in Union City, heroes.